Time for some bad nicks. We've got the first one, Flasher. He's a firefly. And as the name suggests, he flashes. And when he flashes, he hits you. And when he's flashing, he's also indestructible. So this is why he gets for free on the difficulty level. He is absolutely scattered throughout this stage. And he is the biggest threat in the level. So horrible. He's so annoying. Just stay away from him. If he's flashing, you have to wait. Just be patient with him. Even Tails can't kill him. And now you got Colton. He doesn't really crawl. He kind of just like sticks his head out. But this guy, he's a cool guy. There's not too many of him in the stage, so I won't worry too much about him. He just like wants to say hello, basically. See what you're up to. Hey, what you doing? But if you're running through the stage, he's not going to bother you. He can hardly reach you half the time anyway, so I wouldn't would worry about him at all. He's a lad. Now it's time for the Mystic Cave. This is, without a doubt, my favourite stage in Sonic 2. I absolutely love it. And what you're about to witness on this Let's Play is my worst ever playthrough of it. So I hope you guys are ready for this. I die more than I should. Now, there are loads of power-ups absolutely littered throughout this stage. Absolutely loads. There's invincibility everywhere, shields everywhere, and speed shoes everywhere. However, this is where the game starts to take it up a notch. You cannot really mess around in this game anymore. This is where the game gets serious. This is where the game gets hard. Now this special stage is nowhere near as hard as the last one. That was unforgiving. This one just tries to trick you. Now. It starts off pretty easy. Just gotta go back and forth and collect these rings on the sides and watch the bombs. It's like rings on that side, bombs on that side, and there's rings on that side. And then you get to a point where it tricks you out and there's rings on the same side. And then you think, oh, well, it's gonna do that again. And it puts bombs on both the sides, so you gotta watch out. Now, you got this. This is really cool. Just weaving and out of the bombs. And then. That big old ring that you have to jump through. Now this next part is a bit tricky. But again, it's basically what we've just seen, but a little bit harder. So it's not too bad. Just got to jump over the bombs in the middle. Tricks you out there. And then there's this again. If anyone can collect all these rings on one side, like, just let me know. Because that's really hard. Now, look at this. Tails has got 16 rings. If he gets hit, I'm not going to be able to do the stage at all. So I'm starting to panic now. Because I know the next bit is really hard. So, instead of trying to collect these rings at the start, because I know that he'll get hit by bombs, I just jump over him. Those, like, eight rings are not worth it. 
basically all it is now is these rings. You have to, you know they're coming. Just jump, even before you see them, or Tails is going to get hit, and you're going to lose those rings. I only just do this stage. Look at this. The game glitches. He gets hit, and he doesn't lose any rings, and I am stressing really badly that I'm not going to get this stage done. Six rings, oh my god. Like, three times he's hit those bombs. He had 22 of the rings. If we got hit once, there's no way I was going to do that level. And now we have the green Chaos Emerald. There are seven, seven emeralds in this game, not six, so I have one stage left to do. So right now, when I was playing this, I was pretty buzzing, because it's been a while since I collected all the Chaos Emeralds, and I was just like, nothing can go wrong now, but oh boy, just you wait. Now, there's a lot of giant platforms in the stage, flats and bridges, and spikes, so watch out for that shit. You've got these weird things, the wall comes at you with spikes on, um, but it's pretty easy to dodge. Now this guy, that's for Hilltop Zone, you little bitch. Now, like I showed, even Tails can't hit him when he's in flashing. He's completely invulnerable, so just leave him the fuck alone. Now here, I get a bit cocky. I don't want to grab the power up, because I really, really like the music in the stage. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to bounce on his spring. Up, oh, bar bollocks. See, now if I had a vulnerability, that wouldn't have happened, and I would have been fine. But, should have known. Shouldn't have got cocky. Don't get cocky. Tip of the day. Even if you've done the level a hundred times, do not get copy. Screw you over. As it does right here. I've never been hit by this wall before. For some reason, I get hit. Lord knows why, but I did. Now, you might be thinking, Oh, now the wall's back. How are you going to get up there? I'm not. If you go this way, it resets. Now, I don't know what kind of logic that is. That's old school video game logic for you. If you can't do a solution, go back and go back to it. Now, patient with that guy and kill him. How I'm supposed to. You've got to watch out for those um, green asparagus things. Because uh, they will crush you and they will kill you. Probably the most common cause of death in this stage is being crushed. See? Now, got to get a little bit of speed up there. I should get the checkpoint, but I don't. I don't know why. See, look, another power up there. Told you, absolutely littered in this stage. Now, as to the level itself, until about an hour ago, I always just used to think that those green bits were like grass and like mossy stones, but I think they're just green stones or emerald stones, but I always used to think that they were like plants. I don't, don't know why. Weird like that. These are down here, I don't know why they're there. It's because it's the end of the stage. It's not really pointless to me, but... Hey ho! I didn't make this shit! Congratulations! You got through Act 1. Here's a cookie. Mmm. Lovely. Right, now... This stage... or well, this act... It's quite tricky. Again, with the floating platforms... You can go up, you can go down, there's loads of multiple paths on this stage. And you've got these weird things, they only appear here, like, in this stage. This is the only time you see them, but I like them, I think they're cool. But I'm going to go down here, because there's something I need to show you guys. Now, uh, most of you who played this game will already know what I'm going to show you. What I'm going to complain about, bitch and moan, and it's so pointless, so cunty, it's no need. But we'll get there in a minute. Now, there's power-ups over there, but I can't be bothered with that, so I just slip down there. You can get crushed by those blocks really easily, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Oh, wait for this dude. Now, always remember, when you reach to this point here, you need to be careful. You need to slow down, calm down, be calculating, and just don't. This bit here, do not fall down this hole as Tails has fallen to his death. They put spikes in the bottom, and you can't get out. So, you're going to die, no matter what. They should have just put a bottomless pit down there. There's no point in having that pit. 
Lord help you if you've got a power up like invincibility or if you're supersonic because you have to wait it out until your rings run out and then you die. It's just a death sentence. Just put a bottomless pit there. Cry out loud. Oh, but I digress. Now, in the re-release of this game on the Android version and the iOS version, that pit has actually been changed. If you fall down that pit, it will actually take you to the now newly completed Hidden Palace Zone. Now, I have more information on that stage, but I'm not going to give you any of that information now. I'm going to save that all for an extra video. If maybe I can record that stage, who knows. But for now, I'm just going to plod along and get through the stage. Now, I'm doing alright, and then, ah, oh, bugger. I try and get up here, and for some reason, I can't get on that platform. So I fall down. I'm like, well, I wanted to show you guys that way, but I guess I won't. I'll, I'll save it for like a bone. Ah, oh, bollocks. And I'm dead. Again. Again with the dying. You guys are probably getting sick and tired of watching this shit by now. But I had to go through it, so you have to go through it too. I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee. Wait for this platform. It's taking forever. God damn. Tails, no! Oh, I've lost him! So suicidal, this fox. Now, I said a little bit about it, but the music, oh my god, the music, it is the best music track in Sonic 2, in my opinion. Now, a lot of you won't agree with that. I don't care. I absolutely love this track. Whenever I play this level, I have to ramp the music up. The volume gets whacked up high. And it's just, it's funky, but it's also chilled out. And it gives you the, it just makes the atmosphere in the stage. It's got a, that bit in the background, which makes it feel spooky. I'm in a spooky cave. It feels like I'm in a spooky cave. There's horrible monsters everywhere that will kill me and screw me over and traps and everything. And it's amazing. I just love it. I love the atmosphere. I love the background. I love the contrast of colors. The purple, the pink, the brown, the blue, the green. Everything about this stage. It's brilliant! I just think it's a well thought out level. The level design is brilliant. It's challenging. It's fun. But yeah. Now we're at Dr. Robotnik. In Giga Drill! Or Double Drill! Or get a new idea, Dr. Robotnik. Seriously. But he is quite cool. He goes up into the roof, as you've seen. Drills in. And these little spikes fall down. He needs to dodge that shit. But he's pretty easy. The hardest part is dodging those spikes. If you've got no rings, then it can be quite tricky, but I'm pretty good at dodging them, so it's fine with me. And that's it. That was Mystic Cave. That is my favourite level. I love this level. It's a shame that the next level isn't as good, but the music's alright, and it's a fun stage. So I hope you guys join me for that one. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button or subscribe, or even leave a comment in the comment sections below. I actually do put a lot of effort into these videos, even though it might not seem like it. So a like would be very much appreciated, and to have your support would be even more appreciated.